Greetings and salutations. I'm Ekamek. This is Let's Play Spire the Dragon 2 Reignited, Revenge of the Land Lovers. Last time we paid a visit to we well we paid money bags for the privileges to go to Zephyr and get a talisman so we can stop Ripto, who he has no reason to like. In Spyro 3 he is actually working with a sorceress, but in this game, oh no. He has every reason to dislike Ripto, who beats him up practically every world. But no, he'd rather profit of us. We saved Kalex, we saved Romeo and Juliet's romance, and in this episode we have probably the second half of the two confusing levels of this game. Because see, in the last episode we fought Breeze Builders for the sake of the land blubbers. But in this episode... Yeah, we're working for the Breeze Builders to fight the land blubbers. Please excuse the mess, Spyro. We are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation. First they put out the fires in our boilers, and now they've shut down our ship too. If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machinery. Everyone thinks they're highly advanced, though. And I know that if I get too close, he's gonna spit at me. Uh, well, that's a rather unfortunate way to go, isn't it? I actually remember... Back in the day, I would challenge myself to get through with as few spirit power cools as possible because there's this thing. You saw in the intro cutscene how the land blubber put out that fire. Yeah, aren't you a pleasant looking guy? Trying to figure out if he has that sticking out when you're farther away, but he keeps turning to face me, so I guess not. Yeah, these land blubbers don't have the many legs that the Zephyr ones did. But uh, they put out the fires, so if I were to say, like this, he runs over and puts it out. Very cheeky. I don't know how lighting the boiler here raises the water level, but I'm not going to complain. After all, progress is progress. Oh wow, lack of invincibility frames. Uh, pardon me one moment.
sorry about that. An important note. Do not set auto timers on your television. Those land lovers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Yeah, that's another thing. Both sides, no matter where you are, look very militarized. So you can tell that they're not the friendliest group at the, even at the best of times. I think that's both of them. These should not... Well, I guess they've got blimps underneath them, so maybe they should work. Could you send it over here? I want a better look at it. Yeah, just behind the prow, it's all blimp. Okay, I'll give it to you. I guess it works. Sure. Okay. Oh wait, they do actually have the legs, it's just really hard to see. Because it blends in with the sides. Wait, what's he doing? Oh, you're going the right way to get smacked, mate. Goodbye. Now then, is anyone going to come rushing over to put this out? And we still don't have enough spirit particles for this. Sadly, fodder doesn't count. Gonna try and sadly, while that little metal guy is down, you can't actually successfully light the ship because even if you even if you do somehow manage to outrace him in like both sides, it won't count as finished until he's gone. And we might as well do a clean job. Ship fired up, Spyro. Now we could proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. And we get an anchor. So yeah. Um, if you check the guidebook, Zephyr is before Breeze Harbor, but the guy just there said. We'll continue with our counter-attack on Zether! Which suggests that they're actually the other way around. That Breeze Harbor is supposed to work, and he's supposed to happen first. Spyro helps them get their ship up, and then they counter-attack Zephyr, which he helps the land blubbers fight off. How lucky for me that you came along! My machinery is broken, and 
the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. Can you hop on that trolley up there and collect them for me? Oh, great. So, if there's one thing everyone who played Spyro 2 ever remembers, it's this. Oh man, I think the controls are even clunkier than they were the previous. Yep, I remember this music alright. Everyone remembers the failing touch of this guy. Jump the small boxes. Am I missing the, those cogs actually? That'd be pretty awful if I was missing the cogs. This is actually not very well implemented. Gotta say, I think I prefer the original's controls. Yeah, those gears behind the cr immediately after the crates are just not well implemented. Yep. Trouble with the trolley, eh? Well, use the left stick to change lanes. Yeah, great. Tell me how to control it after I fail it. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to get it on my first shot, to be fair. Oh boy. But yeah, these... this just feels incredibly clunky. Yeah, everyone remembers trouble with a trolley. But I think they did actually bungle the controls a bit. Granted, it might just be true to its nature with being um, finicky, true to its roots, but it doesn't change that I don't like it. Not in the least. Feels like there's a very short window of time to hit those signs. Okay, just need to get one more... No, I don't need to get one more lap. I need to get a row of candy barrels. Because... The low ones are way too finicky to jump over and get the gear behind them. Bomb. That was great work, Spyro. Now I can start fixing my machines. Here, I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing anymore. I can see why they gave it an achieve why they gave it a trophy.
Right, I missed you last time, didn't I? Okay, now we pull off a trick shot. We don't know where he is, but we know he's on the other side of this wall. Thanks, Spyro! Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clamp juice on it. And I see what I need to do over there. I need to get that gym box. I have to go find where that dropped all the gems. But I'd be willing to say that Zephyr is definitely the harder of the two to get all the gems on. Alright, Spark, you point the way. Right, up here. Alright, oh, this is... That used to be a path, but it collapsed, which is why you have to jump that segment. No, I think I preferred. Part of me prefers when it, they were blissfully unaware of people taking shots at each other, or but maybe I just didn't. Maybe I just didn't need to remember that uh, little cutscene enough. Either way, after all the trouble and smugness you get out of those land blubbers, can't exactly say I'm sorry to get see them getting clobbered. But. Uh, you know what, we're moving on from the area really soon, I'm going to have a small tidy up. That is, duck into here, duck into here. Check out the bottom of this pond. Most importantly is that I'm going to go to a speedway. We've had this open for two episodes. We could have done it at the start. Let's give it a shot. Although I do actually remember this being quite awful. So even when we're not in Zephyr, we're giving the birds a good roasting. Did 
these bungee dump jumps do to deserve to be treated like this? so close I was thinking about where's the last pigeon but we got all the pigeons darn it uh, and then I choked at the end and I failed I would have had it but yeah they give you a lot of time probably because those bungee jumpers are quite likely to give you a hassle advantage with the bungee jumpers is that you just need to hit the ropes. Which is more than I can say for these pigeons. The arrows say the other way but it's non-conformist. I should have been a conformist. One second for these workers. That's actually very ungenerous. We're not going to get this. Dang it. Two seconds for these pigeons. Jumpers. So that's where you build up a bit of a time buffer. Yeah, we gotta try again because here or there, there's another orb waiting for us. On the upside, the timer counts up, so it's not gonna be too hard. We've been having a crime problem here in Metro Speedway, but I think you might be able to help. 
A band of cat burglars have been raiding my re-election funds by scaling the walls of the buildings. Would you be willing to help get rid of them? Yeah. Great! Hunter can knock the scoundrels off of the buildings, but we'll need you to catch the loot before it lands in the canal and gets lost. Good luck! Hunter is waiting for you outside. So yeah, we've got another very tight flying challenge. I don't think you're actually knocking them off though, Hunter. Cat burglar is funny. Also, why do they put parachutes on these bags of loot? Oh dear. Oh dear. Who did you hit? Who did you hit, Hunter? It looks like you missed one. But there always seem to be more burglars trying to rob us blind. Are you... Great! I think that is one that actually shouldn't count because it doesn't land in the canal. Shoot, shoot, shoot. It looks like you missed. No, I didn't Great. miss it. I Hunter. just landed in the water. It shouldn't be an insta fail, but it is. Oh boy. Race. You'd think that Hunter would be trying to work with you and wait until you're in the right position to catch it. Oh, that one's dirty. Well done. You really taught those crooks a lesson. And we get an orb. Spyro is thrilled. They should just give you the option. If I say quit from the menu, I don't want to try again. Go to the menu that tells me how well I did. I just want to quit. Give me the option to retry or quit directly. Don't just send me to that silly little menu. <sighs> That's just me grinding. Ping. Wasn't sure if I wanted to say gringing or griping there. But anyway. Until next time, guys. Take care. I'll see you all around.